Hello folks, this is Andrew Natto from Stone Earth Capital Management here with an educational economic update for August 2020. In this month's video, we'll discuss some recent headlines that influenced the financial markets in July. I will also provide some perspective on what these developments may mean in the months ahead. Please stay tuned at the end of this video for a required disclosure statement. Stocks rose in July as better than expected corporate earnings and progress on a COVID-19 vaccine encouraged investors. The S&P 500 gained 5.5%, while the NASDAQ picked up 6.8%, and the Dow, which has lagged most of the year, rose 2.4%. Stocks raced higher at the start of the month, with the Nasdaq leading and setting multiple fresh record highs. Overall, economic reports were upbeat, and investors focused on the positive trial results from a COVID-19 treatment. Stock prices slipped after an uptick in jobless claims and increasing tensions in the U.S.-China relationship. But the markets closed the month strong after mega-cap technology names checked in with solid numbers in the second quarter. The month of August has gained a reputation for being one of the more volatile months of the year, however. Last August, for instance, the S&P 500 posted 11 moves of more than 1% in 22 trading days. One of the reasons for this volatility is that many traders are typically away on vacation during this time, resulting in lighter volume which may have the effect of amplifying market volatility. Given the ongoing pandemic, this August will certainly stand on its own merits, but investors should be prepared for headlines that could result in outsized moves. That's it for this month's Educational Economic Update. Once again, this is Andrew Natto from Sonar Capital Management signing off for the month of August 2020. Please remember that nothing we talk about here is a recommendation. If you would like to discuss your personal, financial situation, please give us a call at 978-624-3000. We'd be happy to talk to you. Thank you.